Hi everybody. Today we're going to be talking about calculating percent by mass. This is just another way that we can calculate um, concentrations. We've already learned about using the molarity formula, going from moles to molarity. We've taken molarity when we've been given grams as our amount of solute. Now we're going to be talking about percent by mass. These are really, really easy because all you're doing is working through a standard percentage. Percentages are always the same kind of thing, and I always think about them as is over of times 100. I know it's a really simplified way to think of it, but um, it does work pretty well. These problems are found on page 17 of your notes packet um, with one additional problem at the end for you to try. So when we're calculating percent by mass, the thing to remember is that we are calculating it by dividing the mass of the solute by the mass of the solution and then multiplying by 100. And we usually use this when a solid is dissolved in a liquid to form our solution. And one thing I wanted to point out was this idea that our um, mass is of the solution, which when you think about it, you have to remember that a solution is both solute and solvent together. So when we're getting our mass of our solution, you might need to do some adding, and the way you're going to know that is by looking at the information given to you in the problem. So our equation is essentially percent mass equals mass of solute divided by mass of solution times 100. The key there being the mass of solute divided by the mass of solution times 100. So your units in this case all need to be the same. You either need to be using all grams or all kilograms. Um, it doesn't matter which one you're using as long as you are using the same units on the top and on the bottom of your formula for the mass of your solute and the mass of your solution. So I'm going to work through an example with you. And the example we're going to do is what is the percent by mass of concentration of a solution where 8 grams of salt is dissolved in 90 grams of water. So the, once again, the thing I need to remember is this. We are looking at the mass of the solution, not the mass of the solvent, for being what we divide by. And let me just clarify that a little bit. If you look at the way this question is worded, it says here, we are dissolved in 90 grams of water. That means we're putting the salt in the water. So it's the salt and the water together that make the solution. So because we are putting the salt in the water, we have to add those two together to get our mass of solution. So I'm going to work this out with you. What is the percent by mass concentration of a solution where 8 grams of salt is dissolved in 90 grams of water? So my 8 grams of salt is my mass of my solute. Okay, so that's going to be 8 grams, 8 grams of salt. And it's dissolved in 90 grams of water. Now, I've got my 90 grams, but that's not the total mass of my solution. The total mass of my solution is 90 grams of water plus the 8 grams of salt. So that means effectively what I'm doing is 8 grams of solute divided by 98 grams of solution and then I will multiply by 100 to get my percent by mass. So if I work that out, 8 divided by 98 gives me 0 0.0816 and so I multiply that by 100 and my percent by mass will equal 8.16 percent 
Once again, that's because I divided my 8 grams of solute by my 98 grams of solution. Because this 90 grams came from our water and this 8 grams came from our salt. So let's do another problem. How many grams of an aqueous solution containing 5 grams of sodium chloride has a concentration of 15% by mass? Okay, so in this problem we are going to be kind of working backwards because we've been given our 15% that is going to equal our 5 grams of sodium chloride and we don't know what our total mass of solution is, um, but we know we have to multiply by 100 at the end. So what I'm going to do to get rid of the 100, and this is just the way I usually do these problems, is I am going to divide both sides by 100. So I'm going to just change my color here really quick. So, I'm going to divide this side by 100 and that side by 100. And when I do that, I will get 0 0.15 equals 5 grams of sodium chloride over X. If I put that over 1, that gives me 0 0.15 times x equals 5. If I isolate my x, 5 divided by 0 0.15, that is going to equal 33.3 .3 repeating grams. And that is the answer to my problem. So in this problem, because we were given the percentage we were given the percentage and we had to calculate out the mass of our total solution. That's why I divided both sides by 100. Otherwise, I would not be doing that. Here's a problem for you to try on your own. What is the percent by mass concentration of a solution where 25 grams of potassium nitrate is dissolved in 600 grams of water? Take a moment and try to work it out. So here's the solution. What is the percent by mass concentration of a solution where 25 grams of sodium nitrate is dissolved in 600 grams of water? So I've got my 25 grams of the potassium nitrate and I am putting that into 600 grams of water but it is the water plus the potassium nitrate that gives me my mass of solution. I'll multiply that by 100 to get my percentage by mass. So this would be 25 divided by 625 times 100. So when I take 25 and divide it by 625, I don't need to show you that again, um, you will get um, zero, sorry, 0 0.04 and then we multiply that by 100 and we will get 4%. So in this situation where we have taken 25 grams of potassium nitrate and dissolved it in 600 grams of water, making 625 total grams of solution, that would be a 4% by mass solution.